today we are going to have an exclusive interview with one among of the uh, managing directors of Pan-African banks. I'm talking about EcoBank. We have a much detailed interview talking about the trajectory of the company, the bank's performance for the past five years and many more. Welcome Mr. Charles Asiedu. It's a big pleasure. Uh, as we are about to start the interview, there's something that I want to know. How does it feel for you to uh, run uh, EcoBank, one of the Pan-African uh, banks that have been doing uh, uh, exquisite job in financial sector uh, recently? I feel very humbled. Okay. Um, it's not always easy to have that opportunity. Okay. So when you have opportunity to lead a bank in Tanzania. Yes. Tanzania is the second biggest economy in EAC. Okay. With 51 banks, yes. the competition is key. So mm -hmm. if your group office okay. identifies you as the right person to lead a business, okay. you should always thank God for that opportunity. And for me it brings a lot of humility into okay. my life. I've been a managing director for about nine years now. Okay. Um, I think the Tanzania job provides a lot of opportunity for personal growth, mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity for helping my colleagues also okay. here, and a, a lot of opportunity for us to contribute to the economy of Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So I really feel very humbled to be here. Okay. Uh, Tanzanian, uh, they want to understand, uh, before uh, being the managing director of EcoBank Tanzania, who was the uh, 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 Charles Asiedu serving for before coming to Tanzania and uh, financial sector? Thank you once again. Yes. So, I am a Ghanaian yes. and I spent just about five years working in Ghana. Yes. So, for the past 17 years, I've worked in different countries okay. in Africa. Yes. Uh, principally, I spent nearly eight years in our head office in okay. Togo. Okay. And I also spent another seven years in Malawi as the managing director of EcoBank there. Proud to that, I have spent one and a half years as executive director handling corporate banking business. Okay. Uh, from my position in group office, I was working as group financial and regulatory manager. Mm -hmm. And I had a chance to move around several other African countries. I have worked in audit department before. I have spent most of my career in finance before joining corporate banking business. Okay. But I think I'm a very service-oriented person. Okay. I don't settle for anything less than the best. I know that it's not easy to get the best all the time, yeah. but you always have to push to get the best. I think my colleagues will tell you that yeah. I go for the results. Okay. It's difficult, it's challenging, mm -hmm. but I always tell myself that those are the reasons why we find ourselves in mm -hmm. these environments. Mm -hmm. When things look undoable, unbreakable, mm -hmm. you can still summon the courage mm -hmm. and encourage people to work together mm -hmm. to achieve what is impossible. And for me, mm -hmm. I think this is the mission in Tanzania and it's just no other alternative mm -hmm. but to let it work. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who is Charles Asiedu? Just mm -hmm. a simple banker. Mm -hmm. Objective is to drive performance, mm -hmm. to be relevant to the economy, mm -hmm. to impact all the stakeholders positively in this country. Mm -hmm. And we are here to realize that objective. Okay. Uh, being the managing director of your, your edge, I'm talking about nurturing talents in the financial sector. Uh, have you been able to also impart that type of character, that type of spirit to your staff across the entire operation of your bank? I, I really think so. Um, like I mentioned earlier, very resource oriented. Okay. And what I think many people don't like about me yeah. is I'm very pushy in terms of resource, okay. driving people yeah. sometimes yeah. uncomfortably. But over time, I think I'm getting the people to buy into that idea. Okay. I always believe that where you work, you spend most of your time in the office. Okay. That place has to be very homely for every employee okay. that finds themselves in the office. Okay. 
So you give them a sense of being there and that drives performance. And so everyone looks up to coming to the office to come and contribute their quota to the agenda on the table. I believe I have my staff really rallied around me today. Um, I believe work ethics have improved significantly. I believe that our sense of purpose, our ambition, our vision to turn our business around to make us more relevant in the Tanzanian economy is coming to the table. Okay. And I believe that I'm also learning a lot from them. You know, we are Africans with similar cultural differences, but also a lot to learn from one country to the other. So when I walk into a beautiful country like Tanzania with beautiful people like that, it also provides me with a lot of opportunity to learn and continue to learn from my team. So as we learn from each other, we yes. become a strong team and then we deliver results. Okay. Enough for your, res uh, for your concise resume. Now let's talk about Echo in Tanzania. Uh, there is just one thing that I, I really want to understand. Uh, is there some sort of compati uh, comp uh, compatibility uh, uh, with uh, how people define Echo Bank in the market versus how do you really want to be recognized in the market? I mean, there, is there some sort of a compatibility that in, uh, in a way that uh, uh, these things come in a halfway and they meet together and they, 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 they cynic. So to be frank with you, there is a big gap between yes. what we think we can do yes. and what the market thinks we are doing. We have 51 banks in this country. Yes. So to make yourself known, you have to have, make a lot of difference in different, different sectors. Yeah. I believe we are not there yet. Yes but we have the potential to get to whatever level we want to be. The top three banks in this country, mm. I think that's where we belong. Mm. We are nowhere near there now, mm. but I think it's a matter of time okay. that will be registered. Mm. So we are a Pan-African bank yes. with presence in 33 African markets. Okay. And in most of the markets where we find ourselves, we are among the top three banks. Uh, my home country, Ghana. Yeah. Echo Bank is the leading bank in the country okay. and several other West African mar markets. Yeah. The size of Echo Bank Ghana is similar to, say, NMB in this country, yeah. but also as profitable as that uh, uh, NMB bank. Mm. So that is the benchmark for us to be in Tanzania. Yeah. So we don't settle for anything less than that, okay. but we are not there yet and the gap is big. And for me, it's the opportunity. The gap from where we are to the number one provides us an enormous opportunity for good. And this is the message that we keep on drumming home to our staff that this is where we are supposed to be. A Pan-African bank with a balance sheet size of over $25 billion with over $5 billion trade line across the African continent. Where very robust partnerships we have across the world. We warehouse one of the strongest uh, international relationships you can talk about in doing uh, trade. In Tanzania in particular, we are bordered by eight countries. In all the eight countries, EcoBank is present. So there is no bank in Tanzania that can provide regional trade platform mm. than EcoBank okay. because of our relationship. For example, a customer in Tanzania, you can deal easily with a customer in Uganda, in Rwanda, in Kenya, in Burundi, just because EcoBank is there. That platform we can avail to you. These are the space we haven't played so much into, and that is what we are trying to fill. We think we belong to the top. We are not there yet, but definitely with the products and services and the committed staff we have, we are heading towards there. Okay. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Asiedu, how has been the bank performance for the past five years? So, I've already mentioned that mm. we are supposed to be somewhere, but yes. we are not there. It tells you that the performance hasn't kicked in as yes. we wanted it to be. Okay. We've posted massive losses okay. over the past five years. 
yeah. and you know, uh, what could have, uh, could have triggered such trend of those. So, unfortunately, we, uh, we learned badly, okay. um, principally coming from loans that we dispersed to some customers okay. who are not willing to pay back, to pay back okay. or some customers whose businesses went through challenges. Okay. As a result, we've had a huge bad debt book. Um, over the years, we have to write them off mm -hmm. against our capital. Mm -hmm. Ecobank, I can tell you, is one of the banks that have been well capitalized in this country. But unfortunately, we've written them off over the years. So we haven't performed well. But my colleagues will tell you that I think we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Over the past nine months, we've been posting marginal profits. Profit, yeah. Not to the level that we expect to be, but for me, it brings hope to the people that profitability mm. is actually possible and it's happening. Okay. What have we done to do to turn around the situation like that? Mm. For me, it's all about mindset change. Mm. I think we have gotten people to believe that we can do things differently mm. and that is happening. Mm. So my staff are exerting the efforts, mm. they are punching in beyond their weights and I think that things are happening from that perspective. We have redefined our credit culture. We've introduced uh, more credit discipline in the platform. Credit origination, credit monitoring, collection, we have improved. We have injected new blood in the system. And this is a turning around situation for us. And I can tell you that we've got our support also from our parent company, Ecobank uh, Transnational Incorporated. Okay. Uh, they are helping us in terms of training, in terms of business support, in terms of capital, and all kinds of things that can let us turn our business around. So yes, five years has not been good, mm -hmm. but we look into the future. future. Okay. We think the future provides lots of opportunities for us to turn the business around. And beginning 2021, we will need to demonstrate to Tanzania that we are indeed turning around the business. We have a business plan that puts us significantly ahead of our peers today on the market of in five years' time. So if I'm here and mm. want to discuss the business in the next five years, mm. I think you will hear a different story different when it comes to performance. And I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we uh, the the world has been has been on the uh, on the fight against this uh, the onslaught of uh, COVID nineteen scourge. Uh, I know that the many 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 sectors have been uh, affected. Uh, financial sector is one among the, all those sectors. So how do you uh, as a as a managing director, uh, how do you adapt to the changing times? and make sure that you remain relevant to your customers irrespective or regardless of what has been happening around uh, across the globe. Thank you. And for us as Ecobank, if you ask us, we will tell you that we actually probably in our spirit mm. foresaw the coming of this pandemic. Okay. So over the past five years, mm. what we've been doing is actually migrating our service delivery platform okay. onto the digital platform. Okay. So we are encouraging customers that it is more convenient and more cost effective for you not to physically walk to a banking hall to do business, but rather you can do so on your mobile phone, you can do so on your computer, you can do so from every, any location that you find yourself. So we've been pushing through a very, very robust digital platform, mm -hmm. starting with a change of a, a software, banking software, that can help us adapt to different, different environments, uh, adding on a number of products, mm -hmm. both for businesses and also for consumer mm -hmm. section. And we think that we did a good job across the African continent on that platform. So when COVID came in mm -hmm. and Customers had to work from home, even staff had to work from home, and so many other institutions needed to have 
banking solution, but also working from home, mm. we were really ready for that. Okay. So we came in as handy. Because of the digital solutions, we think that even the physical banking premises, the branches, mm. over time you see banks killing them down and we have done our session as well. Mm. Now, how do we become more relevant? Mm. We have this platform to assist our customers. Mm. But also, I think one of the reasons why we, uh, banks are relevant to economies is that you adapt to changes. Okay. So, we know that some sectors have been hit very hard okay. by the COVID situation. Okay. So what we quickly had to do yeah. was to identify those sectors and also customers involved in those sectors on our platform. Okay. Re-engage them and see what we can do to help them. Okay. Thankfully, Central Bank also came in with some guidance and that really helped us uh, re-engage those uh, sectors. So some of them that we have lent money to, mm -hmm. we needed to re-engage and see how we can extend the facility period. Okay. Some of them renegotiate with moratorium, mm -hmm. a longer period for payment. Mm -hmm. Some of them we really have to make some changes. Mm -hmm. And based on that, I think we have stayed more and more relevant to the customer. Mm -hmm. We keep on engaging them mm -hmm. and to make sure that we also provide them with the support that they need. I mentioned to you about our network in Africa. Yes. Those who that which were involved in transportation and other moving across the African continent, we were there to help all of them to make sure that they have a seamless business platform. Mm. So I think EcoBank has stayed as much as possible, as relevant as we could be to help our customers continue to be in business. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Consolidating a uh, banking industry is not an overnight job and it's a daunting task on the other hand. How have you been able to outreach others in this category? So, it's a very competitive banking environment, yes. 51 banks. Mm -hmm. But the good news, I think, I am fully much aware is that mm -hmm. however competitive it is, yes. we still have our space. Okay. We have our niche. We have our competitive advantage in terms of leveraging an African platform to deliver solutions. I have mentioned to you earlier about how robust our electronic banking platform is. We are leveraging this to push our way through. We also know that when competition is as keen as it is today, some banks naturally fall off, some are acquired by others. We believe we are not a victim of acquisition, okay. but probably the one that can look at something like that. We don't have plans today to say we are firing, mm -hmm. but we believe that even on a simple organic growth platform, mm -hmm. we are on that trajectory. Okay. And if it becomes necessary for us to add one or two, but mm -hmm. I think it's something that our shareholders will look at and see if it is possible. Mm -hmm. But we believe that we have more resilient staff today. We are more hungry than before to deliver results. And we have the platform and we have the systems in place to help us get to that uh, situation. We do have head office or shareholders who believe in Tanzania market and they think that Ecoban is in the right place to deliver results. So definitely, we are among the banks that we should be looking forward to in this market. Okay. Uh, setting the boundaries and peculiarities in, 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 in market is one of the most painful activity, actually. And it's a competitive one. How do you manage to do? So, we have already mentioned to you how as regional and as network and as pan-african mm. as we are mm. for us that sets us apart but what is beautiful about our pan-african strategy mm. is that ecobank was created by pure africans mm. and all these years have been managed by mm. pure africans in all economies that are similar from one country to the other, to the other. and we we understand the african dynamics probably more than 
any other foreign bank you can think of. And wherever we find ourselves, mm -hmm. we are known and we also call ourselves as a local bank. Okay. So in Tanzania, we are a local bank in Tanzania. Tanzania. And today we have 120 staff, only two foreigners are here. Mm -hmm. So the bank is actually being run by Tanzanians. Okay. So, but you blend it with our Pan-African strategy. Okay. Then we become superior in terms of the competition. So a local bank mm. with international platform that makes us stronger, stronger and better on the market. Okay. Do you see any any untapped uh, banking opportunities for you to leverage and see yourself at the end of the tunnel that you have something that you think of? Maybe your aspiration, your strategies, uh, they have come to, 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 to a real good end. Yes. For us, there is this regional trade business. Yes. You know, what a lot in Africa people talk about is economic integration. Okay. Africans working together okay. to promote businesses in our respective countries. Mm. This is an opportunity for both. If African countries are working together to grow our own economies, we believe we have a better chance of succeeding in developing Africa than relying on the developed world, than the countries in Europe and America. And ECOBAN was created alongside those lines, a financial platform that can actually help integrate the economies. Okay. So this is the platform that we sell mm -hmm. and this is the niche that we think we can really promote that can help us grow our business but also bringing the African economies together and for the betterment of Africa. I think there is always the saying that no one else can develop Africa more than Africans. But we epitomize this by developing a financial platform mm. that really supports that agenda. Mm. We can raise monies from within, mm. we can disperse monies from within, and we can help uh, businesses manage monies from within. And this goes a long way mm. to support the African growth that we are pursuing. We believe that we are on the right track and this is going to be seen in Tanzania too. Uh, as we are trying to, we are heading to the end of our discussion, uh, Mr. Asiedu, do you see a gap in our financial uh, sector? Do you see any gap? Yeah. Mm. So we think that, and everyone knows that economies that have developed and grown better than others. Mm where they have had the strongest growth pattern coming from is the SME sector. Okay. Um, and as similar to other African countries, I think we haven't paid, we have not sustained no. the financial support for the SME sector. Okay. Now, that is on both sides, on the sides of the financial institutions and also on the business side. Mm. I think one of the reasons to why um, financial institutions struggle mm -hmm. to get momentum on the SME sector mm -hmm. is the very high default rate in that sector. Okay. And the default rate comes sometimes unwillingly from the businesses. Mm -hmm. So what we are trying to do is actually helping equip the business, SME business, mm -hmm. with financial trading. Mm -hmm. So we have partnered with African Union naturally mm -hmm. to raise one million African youth entrepreneurs. And the you know, inaugural uh, section was actually hosted by Echo Bank um, Academy. It's our training platform based in Togo. And our target was to reach 100,000 young entrepreneurs. So to train them, to make them, to equip them with the skills of managing resources. You know, one of the challenges in the SME sector is when businessmen and women have access to money, how to manage is a challenge. And that is the gap that we are trying to fill. We know there are a lot of up and coming youth interested in growing businesses. And we think that providing them that capacity is actually very, very helpful. Mm. We also know that 
women play very very pivotal role in homes and I understand that an average African woman spends 90% of the resource on the family. So if you help grow the African woman's business, you are actually impacting positively on all the family life. So what we have done, we just launched it less than a month ago, a program called Elevate. And the purpose of that program is to promote women run, women owned, and women managed businesses in Africa. So we identify you mm -hmm. and give you the necessary training support that we can. Mm -hmm. And then we also provide financial support in accordance with your business requirements. Based on that, we think that we are impacting the women sector. They contribute a lot to the economies, mm -hmm. but also the SME sector. And we have several other products as well, gearing towards helping the SME platform. We believe if we succeed in that, we, uh, the all the economies in which we operate, including Tanzania, mm -hmm. we're going to have our fair share of the growth. So that is the area that we are focusing on. Okay. Uh, where will be uh, EcoBank Tanzania after five years from now onward? So today we are a middle tier bank. Mm. I think in the next five years you should look up to among the top ten banks, if not top five. We believe we are cut to do that mm. and it's a project everyone is resolved to pursue very strongly in that. And with God on our side, mm. we are succeeding. Every one of us believes in God. Of course. Um, we do. With God, we break grounds that are unbreakable. And we shake grounds and that are unshakable. Unshakable. Yeah. And we believe that mm. we always succeed okay. with God on our side. So we are getting there. <laughs> Okay, last uh, last thing. What could be uh, that thing that uh, we don't know exactly about eco banking? You want to put it out okay, to the to the audience out there. They don't know about about it. So as we do our business, mm. focusing on the stakeholder involving the investor. Mm involving the customer, mm. involving the regulator in okay. the country, okay. and involving the environment, we do so sustainably. Okay. So we support the World Bank Sustainable Development Goals, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So every action of ours is geared towards promoting and satisfying the stakeholders including the environment in which we operate. Mm -hmm. uh, since 2013, what we've done is a, a day we call EcoBank Day. Mm -hmm. On that day, in all the markets in which we operate, mm -hmm. we dedicate it to giving back to the society. Mm -hmm. And we do so religiously. And since 2019, we've actually launched what we call Together for Better Health. And it is a platform for us to promote uh, awareness on non-communicable diseases. Uh, these are the diabetes, and the heart diseases and the like. So in 2019, we launched the platform and did a lot of work and talk on those non-communicable diseases. In 2020, we moved a step forward to focus awareness on diabetes themselves. And for us in Tanzania, we made donations in the form of equipment, uh, medical equipment to Mwala Nyamala Hospital. Hospital okay. And for 2020, we will continue. In fact, in EcoBank, there's what we call a Charma, the Chairman's Award on Sustainable Business Development. That is awarded to the affiliate that has done a great job in impacting the environment in which we operate. So, as we want to make money, we want to grow our business in Tanzania, we must be very responsible citizens in Tanzania mm -hmm. by also giving back to the market that has accommodated us and provided us with a platform to do our business. We are very sensitive to the environment, we are very sensitive to being very good citizens, mm -hmm. and we think that 
by so doing, mm. our businesses also get to the right limits that we find ourselves. So yes, we think this is a Quebec. Mm. African bank, mm. interested in African development, interested in the environment we find ourselves. And by impacting the environment this way, we believe strongly that our objective is being realized. Thank you, Mr. Asiedu, for a helpful and very constructive interview. I've enjoyed a lot, of a le I've learned a lot about Ecobank Tanzania, trajectory, success stories, and much more. As for you, dear watcher, through uh, my digital, this uh, marks the end of our discussion, uh, uh, but this also marks the start of the beginning of other interview session. What you need to do exactly now is to go through our digital platform, go to uh, Mananchi uh, official page, Mananchi uh, uh, digital official page to watch the full interview uh, that I've, uh, I have conducted here with, uh, with Mr. Charles Asiedu. Thank you and have a good morning. <laughs>